The Flowrite version 3 live wall system is the best system for tournament bass fishing, but what if you just wanted something maybe a little simpler, way less complicated, but still accomplishes the same task of keeping your fish alive? There is a much simpler way to do it. So let's get back to the basics and the essentials. First off, all you really need is a fill nozzle and an overflow fitting and some way to drain it. This setup is common for redirecting the overflow of water from the live well through the subfloor and out below the water line in the back of the boat. And you can also use just a straight 1 and 1 8 inch overflow fitting like this and run it out the side of your boat if your live well is up front and it's just close to the side and it's easier for you to run it that way you have an open void that it'll take it. A lot of deep V aluminum hulls with like northern style setups for like pike and walleye are made like this. But both these setups require some sort of additional drain line underneath the subfloor anyways. So whether you're using this one to redirect all the water, both the overflow and the initial drain from the entire live well out of the subfloor, or you're using just one overflow out of the side of the boat, it doesn't matter, you still need the drain. There is one setup that decomplicates all that and is a drain and overflow in one. This is a standpipe. You cut it to the desired length. It can be as high as you need it to be, but it has to be an inch or two underneath the actual spray nozzle so the spray nozzle can do its job and actually aerate the water. If you run it too high, it'll overtake the spray nozzle. You see this model in bass boats quite frequently with just some PVC pipe randomly being the standpipe, but Flowrite made a pretty ingenious system that included a one and one eighth inch through hole fitting. It's thinner at the top like most of their drain systems so water can overtake the actual lip better but it also has a threaded component where the standpipe just threads into there and it can be unscrewed out to become the main drain. It also has a lower trickle drain with a hole there so you can actually drain your entire live well without ever having to take out the standpipe. It's pretty genius, all in one. You no longer have to have an overflow fitting and a drain fitting drilled into the back of your boat. You only have to have one fitting. That is minus the pump that you would need to fill this. The standpipe would be the first thing that you would install and then you would mark it to where you think the desired height would be. You can always trim off more, but you can't trim off less. So, you know, be conservative with the cuts and get it to its direct height. You can always just recut it. So we're going to go ahead and fill this makeshift like live while I made in a few seconds. It's not the most elegant thing, but it's going to work for this example. This pretty much would sim simulate an aerator. It's about what a 500 GPH would do as far as like spraying in water to pump this out and then it would just go down there like so so I stopped the water you now we got nothing flowing in and this trickle down here that's because I didn't have a quick lock like I thought I didn't and I pulled the pipe I pulled the hose and it fell off I just reattached it but there's there's no leaking but we have this here now it's just stagnant nothing's going no pump no nothing okay there I unscrewed it and now water is flowing back out there again and it is flowing quite good. That's pretty serious flow of water. It's going through. I thought. I wonder how well that would drain it. But you can you can visibly see it sinking past the standpipe now, and you can hear it draining. And if you really want it to go faster, you can just take the whole thing off, and then it will just gush out. So probably. I mean, but it, when you do that, then you kind of when you take it all the way out, then you kind of leave it subject to uh, debris and stuff clogging it, like crawfish, crawdad shells or whatever. So. Maybe you'll leave this one. This does not have the recirc feature though. So if you want the recirc feature, you would have to add a new nozzle and another pump. So you'd have to have two nozzles, two pumps to do the same thing, which that kind of is whatever. But if you want the recirc option, definitely we'll look at the version three. And the standpipe itself is just a really good way to avoid having to run an overflow fitting out the side of your live well, which might interfere with anything else you got going on. This this is just the drain and the overflow combo together. And it does that well if you wanna if you want to deal with something like this. It does it pretty good. This kit has been made by popular demand of the audience. The basics live well kit is what we're calling it with a 500 GPH aerator pump, a straight through hole fitting with a screen for the back to inlet the water, a standard fill nozzle, and of course the standpipe and the little elbow fitting we showed you and demoed in this deal. We are working on a small like two button switch panel for systems just like this, but until then we have these awesome TB Nation custom switch panels that have key quality components, instructions, all stuff, and they are backed by us from our store with warranties, just FYI. Just go ahead and throw one of these in your cart to power the live well along with everything else. Remember lastly, I'm not sure if I covered in the video, but this is just a constant drain and fill kit. That means when you go on plane, it will stop circulating 
but no water will drain out of the pipe because, well, the pipe is taller than everything and it can't just bleed out. But then once you get back on the water, it'll start filling and then aerating the whole thing again. It's constant refill of fresh water. If you're in smaller bodies of water and your distance to plane from point A to point B is not too terribly far, then this is the perfect setup for you. But if you are taking long distance drives across big lakes, it's taking you a while on plane, then I definitely would look at our version three live wall systems because those are much better suited. Check out our store products page because we released a bunch of new products and we have a bunch of new ideas coming out for this holiday. Stay tuned for it.